Hello, this is Star Wars Paladin, and uh, playing on Armitage. A little bit different video, um, sort of, kind of different. Uh, I got jacked out of my Narshed Out video because of some hard drive problems, and I thought, well, I'll do another Narshed Out video then. Except doing the planet stuff, which is not nearly as fun. And I'm going to be skipping everything. Uh, in terms of story, unless something looks interesting, which I don't think so. Inertia does. You and me, Aiden. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Oops. Hope I follow the quests. Oh, I'm going to go do ter terminal. I'm looking for a jacket. So, this is called... Armitage and the hunt for the the new jacket or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, hope you don't mind me drinking my water and eating my raisin raisin bran. I really like raisin bran. If I can't find what I want, raisin bran is always a good a good alternative. I think. <clears throat> we used to do this one a lot, uh, my wife and I. You get, uh, if you're playing this at the right level, you get uh, so much XP for doing this whole area. Now I'm lagging because I'm uploading. You can see. Not from my frame rate. But from, uh, this will be dead down. That's because. I was about to upload last night. I'm sorry, Bob, when you finally get to this one. Uh, I was about to say goodbye to you and to Pinkerton's last little quest. And my internet shut off. And it stayed shut off for at least a couple hours. Oh, okay. hey. So, I apologize for that. So yeah, like I said, this is going to be a little laggy. Uh, I still only have a handful of companions because I haven't gone and done Alderaan yet. I'm sure there's some companions on I wanted to do this because I think it's fun and I think it's very, very important to uh, make sure the cat doesn't get my food. Hey, hey, no, you, uh, cat explosion. She like bounded across like a freaking sea lion. Color the silver blue. Anyway, um, oh. anyway, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's important to do other things with your character. Uh, pretend like your character is real a little bit. Make make them important. You know, give maybe give each of them a day, or at least a couple hours, and say, you know, for these couple hours, I'm gonna play such and such. Um, make them. Give them a place in your heart, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, that's, it's important to having a, go a good character. You're like, well, no, my character is good because of their gear or whatever. No, your character, no, you, oh, gosh, darn it, it's so bright outside. Cats. Okay. <sighs> the choose now to start giving me a hard time. Okay. Um, your characters usually need to be special. And they need to be important to you. Otherwise, you're not going to appreciate them. And you need to be able to appreciate your characters. And Kiri logged in. Kiri's probably on the mids. Wait, no, he's still. 
like 55, isn't he? No. Oh, that's right. This is, this is brand new 30. Uh, you need to be able to appreciate your character. If you can't appreciate your character, you can I want to say it's weird, but it's kind of like you'll, you'll be mean to him. You'll put him in situations and have him do things that's not normal. I like, talk to Steamo sometimes, and he's like, No, this character's all the dark side. Or whatever. Or, or I said Bob, I can't remember, but they're like, No, this character's dark side. And I've had like long conversations with, uh, with a lot of my friends and guild members in the past. And the problem is. Even though it doesn't actually matter at all, um, I don't think your character should just do all light side or dark side. They need to be true to themselves. They need to tell you what they want to do. Because depending on whoever wrote what you're doing, light side and dark side can change. Sometimes light side's killing the person, sometimes dark side's killing the person. Sometimes light side's arresting the person, sometimes dark side's arresting the person. And if you sit there and just use dark side, dark side, dark side, dark side, dark side, dark side. It's you're you're not thinking through You're not thinking about what you're doing, and if you just use light side, light side, light side, that's what you're thinking what you're doing. Now, there's one big, big caveat to that, and I don't know if they ever fixed this defect, but if you're trying to max out your 10,000, and you're at, and you're, like, <laughs> glitched out, um... At like 99.50, like I've had happen to a couple of my characters, then I understand. That that sucks, and you gotta choose light side over and 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 over, and over, and over until you get <laughs> until you get rid of all your dark side. Cause it that's that's weird. Blah. Oof. Oh man, we're racking up the goodies. Oh. But you should go do. <clears throat> go do things with your character. With your character. Feeling good. And so if that means if your character wants a new jacket, if it's on the GTN, just go buy the jacket. can't go buy the jacket, but the character says they really want the jacket, then you gotta go figure out how to get it from them. So if you don't, if you don't really like one of the characters that you got, If you don't like a character, maybe you shouldn't have made them. Or maybe it's because you don't spend enough time with them. Ooh, ha. So this is interesting. I'll explain this one really quick. These robots actually do help you, and I've killed almost everything on this floor, but you activate them. Like if you're a lobby or whatever, or if you're just trying to two man this and need help. You sneak into these places, activate these droids, and these droids just go berserk on the mobs. Um, there's a couple on this floor and a couple on the other floor. The problem is you won't get the kills unless you make sure you tag the mobs. So, 
There's a bunch of them. Um, one on each side. And they patrol the whole thing. So, uh, between both of them, you can patrol this whole area. Uh, these guys are obviously bad guys. Um, can I... Do, 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 do. I'll try to activate them so I can show you. Maybe he has to be attacked, I'm not sure. Nope, there he goes. He just freaking goes to work. Let's kill all the mobs. And there's three of them, so you activate them all and they just... Sucks. So he has no life, he's still so we just activate the droids. And we gain two or three levels, I remember. Gain two or three levels over a couple days, just coming in here and doing this little dungeon over and over and over again. Activated droid kill bad guys. Evasion mm. back. So yeah, he patrols this whole thing. I think he'll walk right through here. And then I think the other one walks through the whole entire rest of the thing. Pretty awesome. And then you just get ready to jump in. There he goes. You see, he does pretty good for himself. And then he just heals because the mobs are gone. And they'll just go through the whole zone like that. And it's pretty cool because the other side has, like, patrols too and stuff. And they'll just take care of those. It's really slow, though, but it gives you time to heal. And I guess you could do stuff if you really wanted to, like... Uh, change some mobs to it. So it's pretty fun. I, I would I would never say that Empire side flashpoints are uninspired. I, you know, there's a couple of really cool uh, Republic ones, but but I would never say that the Empire ones are uninspired. And this is probably the first one, at least in my opinion. Where they really put a lot of cool, fun little stuff and made it accessible without making it a tactical flashpoint or whatever. Not, not that there's anything wrong with tactical flashpoints because there's nothing wrong with tactical flashpoints, but um, I can't remember Star Wars friggin' keeps changing keeps changing their dates on when this stuff's supposed to release. Really 
guess you can go ahead and release this one too, and then yeah. Twice the Druid Carnage. Ooh, pop. They're so cool too. Galaxies, and I didn't play K O T O R, but uh, I, that doesn't mean I don't have cred. I, I played uh, Force Unleashed one and two, Rogue Squadron one and two, uh, Shadows of the Empire. I had Empire Strikes Back for my Atari. But I didn't have an Atari in 1970 or anything. I, my friend had one. My friend, he liked to sell things. My friend liked to sell things. Oh shoot, there's one more I missed. That's weird. Um, but no, I was at uh, an antique store of all places and uh, there was one Empire Strikes Back. Atari game. For like five bucks or something. I was like, oh, hell yeah. Or no, it's like four bucks. And my mom was like, oh, you don't even play that. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dude, I'm okay. Play. I will play this. And I did. I went home and turned it on. It was like really, really, really good. If you had a chance, if you have like an Atari or whatever, pick up uh, Empire Strikes Back. Played the old uh, vector vector graphics arcade trench scene from Star Wars uh, the episode four. Oops, I don't know what I said. Oh, um, so yeah, that's this. I'm gonna go save the last one. Is there any... I suppose there must have been Star Wars games on the Commodore 64, but... I knew people that had them. And they were at our house sometimes, but... Or I was, or I was at their house sometimes, but... Commodore 64 was... I, I know it had good games, because I've read... And I've read what people have said and stuff. Um, the most memorable to me would have been, like... Carmen San Diego and Oregon Trail, but besides that, honestly, I don't know. What are some other? I, I think maybe those are the rarest Star Wars games I've played. But I had the Pod Racer game for this N64. I had Naboo. I love Naboo. Played the hell out of that game. I almost liked it more than Rogue Squadron. Oh, did I? 
Okay, there you go. Um. Uh, every time I would see episode one, I would have to go turn on my N64 and play uh, Battle for Naboo. That game was just so dangerous. I don't think I ever did beat it. It's really hard. Uh, I didn't want to roll over there, but whatever. Yeah. It's really hard, but it's really good. Battle for Naboo. Well, that means another one of my friends who won. Everybody says the economy's doing good right now. It's lies. It is such freaking lies. The economy is not doing better. It's a load of freaking crap. If you're if you're really highly educated, then it's doing okay most of the time. But there's still going to be gaps. But uh, for everybody else, the economy's just doing terrible. I saved it for you guys. Ouch! Right, I'm gonna eat some more. My razor because I'm hungry. Done. Vomba's dead, and I can finally cross his. And here, Vomba's bounty. Mm, that's, <clears throat> that's pretty awesome, huh? There's some freaking cool looking gear in here. I wonder if you like that better than the welding goggles. Wait, these are about the same. I just like to get. I have to get the one that's named the cooler thing. Battle. Garage, I think. Alright. I'll put those away for some other time. Cover his eyes so he doesn't get migraines. There you go. That'll help you from getting migraines. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Armitage uh, suffers from terrible migraines. I've never done a proper story on him, but um, he suffers from migraines, and so he always has to wear special special eyepieces, and he's got these special things around his temples to try to help him from preventing, try to help him to prevent migraines. Shoot, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah. I keep wondering why the heck my unify colors in this game loves to reset all the time every time you put a new piece on. Oh gosh darn. I had this muscle muscle twinge in my back really, really, really bad last night and it's deep into my back. So I, I can't I can't do I can't do statistics I get I get frustrated I can't do any math actually I get really frustrated and upset
<laughs> I like Gary, he's freaking awesome. I remember doing these as extremists way back when, and um, you wanna I didn't. A droid? The guy tried to impress me, got me a serving unit once. It took me about 12 hours before I smashed it for parts. Kind of fun. <laughs> Poor extremists just had a hell of a time because um, I was using 2VR8 as his healer and um, I wasn't using that and 2V was just having a really hard time healing and uh, there wasn't a lot of um, droid <clears throat> parts available back then. And so 2V was uh, undergeared, and so I died in the battle. got that first uh, big one had a big PvP it's not really a tournament but uh, got together and beat the crap out of each other for a couple hours it was really fun so I was gonna go through and just do the day uh, the, 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 the the heroics, but well, there's two problems with that. Number one, I can never tell the difference. Number two, <clears throat> I won't encase the jackets part of the bonus area. I think that I need to do everything so I can get to the bonus area. That, on the other hand, not that. That might sell. Well, look at the artwork. Very cool. Bye bye. <clears throat> okay. I don't know. I. These, uh, these take a long time. <coughs> Even if you're stupid over-leveled, because the, uh... Just the... Kill... The, not the kill quest, the, the gathering quests take forever. Everything's far apart and stuff. I, I don't know. It... It's why... I believe that... It's best to not try to rush through the game. Try to enjoy it. Try to make your character special. Because otherwise, this stuff's really gonna bug you. Uh, kinda like my back is bugging me right now. I can't believe it. I mean, I know it's going to get better. It's just a muscle. Whoops. 
Okay. But freaking muscle spasm. It's like it's like twisted into a knot. Oh, there's a kill quest. Alright. I, I, I don't know if I wanna do this or if I wanna do Hold on. I wanna try to get another companion. But uh But I wanna get another jacket for arm to get also. You know, and that's another good reason why to, to kind of try to play through and take it easy, if you can, because all these heroics, these heroic repeatables, have the coolest looking gear. You know, if Lancer had skipped all his heroics, he wouldn't be wearing that jacket that he was wearing, you know, and uh, hello. And the hat, the, the the hat that he's wearing, um, the precursor to that that didn't have the goggles, was also from the uh, was from some kind of heroic quest or whatever. And there's other cool stuff from other heroic quests that I never got to do that I found out later. I'm like, wow, that would have looked really cool on my character, but. Well, I got something else cool now. I'll tell you, one of the things I used to do that helped a lot is I would do bonuses with one character and then I, I wouldn't do the bonuses with the other character. Um, that helped a lot. So like Nars or Taurus, I'd skip the bonus on one character and then I'd stay and do the bonus on the other character. I'll stop running with your rifle like that. Part of the problem, though... Is that you'll have like an empire and a republic? Sorry. <laughs> Sucks. You should be able to turn on a don't attack yellows option. Anyway, um, and you're like, oh, cool. You know, they're totally. There's no way it's ever gonna get boring and. You're like, oh damn it, my freaking Republic character's on Belmora. That's okay. I'll play my Empire guy. And even though they're completely different levels, you're like, oh, my Empire guy's on Belmora too. Great. Because you get Belmora really early on Empire and you get Belmora really late on Republic. And that happened to me once and I was so pissed. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. My cat knows what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. So I have to get done with stage one. Let's see. Hey, what's stage two? Exchange power conduit. So, I see some. But, yeah. I'm just doing this for credits and social and companion. Ow. The other thing is, is if I get any orange drops, like if I get like orange viral blade, or any, <laughs> any orange stuff to be honest, uh, that stuff could sell for quite a bit. I mean, some of those could sell for like 250 thousand or more shoot Just put your put your rifle away there's one 
yeah, this quest is a, is a bitch because these power conduits are freaking all over hell and gone. Put your rifle away. Yeah, I really want more companions as soon as I find this jacket. I'm gonna go ahead and uh go to Alderaan. I haven't done Alderaan on Empire side in a really long time. Put your rifle away. <laughs> One of the things they need to do, and I, I know I talked about this yesterday. At the beginning of a planet, maybe once you're 55 or so, uh, or maybe at least over leveled for the planet, they need to have a uh, a kiosk that just adds all of the uh, adds all the dailies, daily repeatables. Even if you haven't done them before, that would just be so freaking handy. And the quest could just be worth like five points or something just to go talk to each of the vendors. So it at least has a quest to go start start everything. Okay. Super helpful. They do that with McKeb and, and Voss, and uh, actually, um, I wish they would have kept doing that. And that's why they need like a development team, like little mini teams, mini teams for everything. And I'd make a little mini team. And their quest was to go to every single planet and make a little daily kiosk for everybody. Cause like for Taurus, I, I I love to do the Taurus dailies. I wish there was a little kiosk that just led me to every single one of them each day. That would be super cool, man. I know a lot of people would like that. I bet you people would find all kinds of dailies that they missed and stuff. Oops, I don't need that. I'll leave that for somebody else. I don't need to go over there yet, do I? No. But yeah, this is gonna be good money too, now that I you know, now that I think about it. I should be selling this uh these mats, but this takes too much freaking effort. I seem to have outdone The GTN just master. needs to tell you like, oh paint. the last three sold for this much, do you wanna sell it for this much? And just like yes. Is my goal, That'd be master. so nice. I would sell so much more stuff if it would just tell me, oh, last three of these sold for this, uh, the average is this. Do you want to sell it? Yep, click, done. That'd be so nice. I bet you the heroic is in here somewhere. Ow, oh my gosh. Mmm. Excuse me, I'm on surveillance duty. This is important. Slicers were selling intelligence reports on the black market. I recovered them. These? These explain? Yes, I has used the slicer gang as a decoy. I I'll... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, none of those droid parts used to be there. Used to be just Kaleo, and that's it. Hey, I see a little quest out there. I hope that's the heroic. Or the. What? Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, my back hurts so bad. That muscle. Okay. I hope this is it. Nope. 
I'm telling you, yeah, that like place deep, is an imperial deep, front. Deep, 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 I love, I, I always love the little banter of the NPCs. They're like, that place is an Imperial front. No, it's not. A freaking sniper just ran out of it. No, he didn't. That's a shadow runner. Oh, Alright, I'm getting my scavenging up, eh? And that's super important. This is the easiest way to do it, let me tell you what. Yeah, sending guys on missions is nice, but it's expensive. Hey, what's down there? Oh. What, what what am I supposed to be? I have to kill the hounds. Well that would have been nice to know. No, that's fine. There's no way to ever tell. Them. What are you doing? But it would be cool if the game was smart enough to know that there's going to be a hound quest, hound killing quest, and if it would just say, oh hey, you know, there's a hound, someone like, instead of you going to get it, somebody like messages you, hey, there's a hound killing quest, do, do you accept? And you're like, yeah, I accept, of course. Instead, you find out that you just killed a ton of omens for nothing. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I tried to massage this out of my freaking shoulder last night. On the, on the... On the door. Oh, sorry! Why were you standing there? Not you. I know why you were standing there, because you're a cat. No, don't sass me. These cats are freaking. No. No. You're not the boss of me. I mean, you are the boss of me, but you know what I mean. Wow, wow. Okay. Oh, I have to kill hand handlers? Um. Okay. Mechanic, 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 mechanic. Here we go. Beep, 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 One more handler. Are you a handler? Are you a handler? Are you a handler? Are you a handler? This is more stuff where it's like, I wish there was a non-combat. Or non 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 lethal crap, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I'm sorry, I tried to cover the mic. The uh the mute button. <laughs> The way this is designed, the friggin' volume controls are like five feet down the cord, which in my opinion is useless, um, so I can't, I, I tried to have it up here, and the volume control was rocking back and forth on my wrist pad. And that is the only place where it would really stay. And, uh, so obviously that was not going to work. So now it just kind of sits on the floor. But that means I can't do things like mute. So if somebody comes in the room and wants to talk, or if I want to eat my food or whatever, there's just nothing I can do about it. Unfortunately. Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. I was just sitting there talking to Bob. And all of a sudden... 
I felt the muscle just flip in my back. It was so painful. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, you've got to be kidding me. It hurt so bad. It still hurts. Oh my gosh. Stupid thing. Maybe that means I'm going to get another job. Just before I got my last job, I hurt my leg. Both both of my legs. Really, really bad. Um, some kind of, yeah, it, it was... You're right. How do you know that? You remember? Okay, smart. Hey. Um, it was the same deal. It was a uh, muscle. Muscles, except it was muscles in my legs. Instead of my and I could barely walk. And um, my, co my, my co-worker was trying to get me kind of... Um, Ooh, text. Uh, oh, it's my brother. <sighs> do, 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 do. Alright. Dang, my shoulder's hurting. That yeah, person's on fire. Okay. Um, what am I doing here anyway? Oh yeah, arms cache. Did you say caches or caches? I, I say cash. I hate making everything sound like fancy. This is an arms cache. cache. You can call it whatever. If you want to spell theater backwards, or if you want to spell color with extra letters it doesn't need. Then, uh, then go ahead, but this is America, and I'm gonna say cash. And, and you know what, you know what probably the difference is? <laughs> I just thought of it. This is what happens when, when you get computer people using words <clears throat> that other people, that are non-computer people that use for other words. And the one I always remember is, uh, uh, where's, W-A-R, E-Z. You know, a non-computer person would think that that was, like, Juarez, you know, like, the city in Mexico, or whatever. Interesting. <clears throat> so that's, uh, believe it or not, is pretty close to what I'm looking for. <clears throat> but not exactly. Um, <clears throat> but you know, a computer guy would know it's wares because it's W A R E S spelled wrong. And you're like, oh, okay, well, maybe cash. Cash is the same thing. Maybe if you're gonna store, you know, weapons, ammo, food, or whatever, maybe you'd call it a, a cache. <clears throat> but when I'm a computer guy working on my motherboard or whatever. It's called cash. Sorry guys, it's we don't say, "Oh, you've got 128 megs of cache on this motherboard." Ma ma ma. No. No. Idiots. It's cash. So, I don't know. Maybe these, maybe they are Caches. I don't know. When you come into your house, do you come in through the vo the the foyer or the foyer? If somebody's taking naughty pictures of people they aren't supposed to, are they a voyeur or a voyer? You know. But but you know when somebody comes and picks up your car when you go to the restaurant, are they? A valet, <laughs> or a valet, or 
Oh, yeah, so many freaking different enunciations for everything. Nobody can agree on it. There's a bunch more I can't think of, but. I think people's names are even harder. I mean, even in this game, you hear two different characters enunciate somebody's name. Totally different. There'll be one that'll phonetically say it, and then there'll be another one. Shoot, I'm on our way. That'll say it with the, uh... With the right, the right sayings. I took a ton of ibuprofen. Hope that helps. I mean, it hurts really bad. It feels like there's freaking broken glass sewn under my skin. And you're like, whoa, what the hell? Yeah. You know those, like, horror movies that everybody acts like they're so bad. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Like yeah, New Wolf Creek. Now. Two movie. I just looked at that and laughed. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Now, I know there's a lot of gun restrictions in the Outback, but it never ceases to amaze me. I mean, it expects me to believe that the whole premise is that two people are out in the middle of nowhere in a tent without a gun. I mean, if somebody drives up to my tent, there's going to be freaking guns drawn. Period. End of story. Number one, because it's like my property. Or not my property, but my dad's property. And number two, in the middle of the night, there's no legitimate reason ever to drive up on somebody's tent in the middle of the night and just act all menacing or whatever. You just leave people alone. Come come during the day, or whatever. Or just like stay stay in your car and say, hey. Like if you're on public, even if you're on public property, you don't do that. Like, like the park ranger's not gonna just come up to your freaking tent and like try to climb in, or whatever. This is, there's no, there's no legitimate reason. I don't know, they, the guy like, goes outside to meet him or whatever. No. First of all, you should have heard him driving a long ways away. He should already be out and ready. Second of all, I don't know. It's, it's just so stupid on so many levels. Plus, what? Why would you just park your can't uh, park your freaking tent right smack in the middle of like an open area and go like put your tent in a corner or whatever where it's like defendable? And then, thirdly, your freaking girlfriend should have a gun too. It's so stupid. And before people say, oh, you know. Gun nuts, this and that, da 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 da. They need to start making horror movies that are are realistic. A person can make it. Opinion. And I know they don't want to make horror movies that are reali realistic because it's going to promote a culture that they don't want. Nobody would be scared. In a home invasion movie, like, what was it called? Friggin' uh, The Purge. If they're like, uh, every year, The Purge, blah, blah, blah. And then you see the house, and everybody's friggin' 
loading up their ARs and their sidearms. <laughs> like, okay. Um, hope nobody breaks, tries to break in here. Oh, somebody's trying to break in here. Uh, damn it, cat. What? She has You sound a little scared. You sound a little scared. He's preparing an army of Slimenhad killers and cybernetically linked assassins. Detonite joy production has increased. Oh, very Ooja, well. Lucha, one, two, three, cha. We'll have to move fast. I don't. We can't let exchange death squad. Oh. What is Kaleo supposed to be? Some kind of freaking, like, Irish freedom terrorist or something? What the hell is she supposed to be? I just said protect the city. And apparently protecting the city got thumbs down with her. Anyway. Uh, it's, it's never gonna happen. But they should start making movies I did what you where want. people are actually prepared. And not freaking stupid. I, I, I won't watch The Purge. But he's got like, like one freaking revolver in the house or some damn thing. In Screw that crap. Stop the bit of the I I I like the new Whoops. Oh well. Um No, I mean when you go camping you freaking prepare for everything. You prepare for everything. You don't know what the hell's gonna happen. You don't know if there's some kind of freaking serial killer running around or some freaking Looney Tune hillbillies decide they want to do something unspeakable. You don't freaking know. And you don't know if a bear is going to come up and you know, I, you don't want to shoot a bear with something small. I mean, you should have some bear mace with you, but like a pack of dogs. I mean, there's all there's like any number of a humongous amount of terrible things that can happen when you're in the middle of nowhere and people are so stupid. Oh. It's like, dude, there's no freaking police out there. Are you crazy? There ain't no police out there. Even when you're in the city. That freaking lady got killed by her husband and took the cops forever to get there. You and me, agent. Frickin' freaking ridiculous. I keep talking about this girl in that school. It's like, so let me get this straight. You've got a school full of girls next to a terrorist organization that specifically doesn't want girls to get educated. And you don't protect them? Are you stupid? Then, like, no, you shouldn't have to protect schools. Or well, you do have to protect schools. You have to protect everything. You have to protect everything that you want to keep. Everything that what you keep, you protect. This drives me nuts. Forgot how I got on this topic now. <laughs> I think I think there's so many things that are just anti anti-gun now. There there was this 
there's this new like buddy cop movie coming out and it's like I'm not I'm not bashing the movie but there was this distinct point in the trailer and I'm sorry I really wish I could remember what my original point was but check my inventory there's this point in the trailer where somehow these f f fake cop imposers uh get into an actual police armory somehow and and one of them's fiddling around with like some kind of AR-15 variant and and drops the gun and the gun go or drops the gun and the gun goes off or he accidentally pulls the trigger and the gun goes off and I just wanted to scream in outrage like, what? 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 I was just... I, I couldn't believe it. And I'm like, you guys... You just lost all your credibility. Don't... Don't put stuff like that in the movie. And... And I, I immediately knew that something was off. Because they show these two, you know, supposed to be police officers the whole time. And, um, they supposedly get all their police stuff off eBay. Which, sure, is... You can buy the light bar. You can get the badges. Probably not from eBay, but you can get the badges because there's... Printing companies that print them, but... Or stamp them, but you'd probably have to scam them. To do that. Um... So you can get the badges that way. You can get a Crown Vic from the junkyard. Oh, uh, what the heck? Why am I... Okay. There we go. Um, what else did they have? Like, the utility belts and stuff. Um. But I noticed that neither of them had sidearms. And I'm like, okay, they're posing... Supposedly... Posing as cops... And, uh, and everyone's believing them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. no, no sidearms. I, I, I couldn't see sidearms in a single uh, sidearm in a single shot, a single clip of the movie. I couldn't see. Them. Um, and then, and then, yeah, it all sealed the deal when they uh, touched the AR-15 and the AR-15 one. Oh, and the other the other thing that that got me is so they they touch the AR-15, the AR-15 goes off, or wh whatever variant variant it is, and uh, he he's like he he turns and looks to his friend and goes, "My bad," and I'm like, "You'd both be deaf. You're like in a closed <laughs> police armory locker." And a, a rifle went off, freaking two, two, three round. You're gonna be like, wah, 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 wah. And yeah, it's not, it's not as loud as a freaking thirty out six, which sounds like a bazooka going off compared to a twenty two, but or even a nine millimeter, two, two, three rounds. Ugh. Anyway, loud. Loud if, you know, uh, he's like, what, two feet away when it goes off? They'd both be like, wah, 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 But no, they're able to just talk and laugh it off. It, it's, it's that kind of stuff. It's like, don't... He, uh, things just keep making it worse. These stupid movies just keep making... Spreading more and more misinformation. Where you take what we call big black or black black scary guns, I think. B B S B S Gs, black scary guns or something like that. You take those and you try to make some kind of a joke on it. Instead of taking it seriously. You know, why why not? Why not have him pick it up and take it seriously? 
and treat it, treat it with respect. You know how much like respect the movie would have got if he did that? And says it's like total, complete, utter disrespect, disregard. Showing people that it's okay to just freaking pick up a gun and act stupid. And then, and then these are the same people that get upset when people pick up guns and act stupid. Freaking actors, man. Why don't you pick up the gun and show some respect? It's just irritating. But yeah, I wish like anything I could remember was on this subject. I think maybe it's at least a little bit because I've always thought of Star Wars as as very, very, very very pro pro second amendment. I know I've talked about this before, but I haven't talked about it in a while. And the reason why I say that is because you can carry there's no there's no gun free zones in this game. I would say the only gun free zone in the entire Star Wars universe is uh on on Lando's Cloud City. And and I would even say arguably that uh that Darth Vader was defending himself against Han Solo. Han Solo he shoots first, yes, but you know, Darth Vader had to defend himself. You know, so I mean I guess Cloud City wasn't even kind of a gun free zone, but I mean maybe in a way, like Darth Vader can have an instant gun free zone whenever he wants. Whenever it's he doesn't like getting shot at. So I'll be taking your guns. I don't know. But still, he was in he was in self defense. If if uh, if Han Solo had walked in the room and Darth Vader had immediately taken the gun from him, it would be totally different. But Han shoots first, which is why changing it in episode four is so freaking stupid. If if they really wanted to change it, they would have changed it in episode five, Cloud City, episode five, right? Yeah, they would have changed it there too, to where Han Han Solo just gets his gun taken away from Vader without shooting. See, then then you start to see, oh, this is starting to get a little starting to get a little weird. I don't know, but I still. Everybody gets to carry blasters everywhere. I mean, look, they they allow you to take your lightsaber right into the freaking Jedi Temple where all the little kids are. And you know, force you know, force forbid some What's up? Hayden Christensen going nuts and start hacking all the little kids to pieces. But no, that would never happen, right? Why don't they take everybody's lightsabers away? <laughs> well, they of course they wouldn't do that because Jedi are supposed to be defenders, but but all Jedi have them. So my smuggler can walk right into the Jedi temple with his blaster. On. Nobody thinks different. I can walk right into freaking Coruscant with my blaster pistol, and it's normal. Why is it normal? Because an art society is a polite society. That's the way it is. Her? Interrupt the. Uh, okay. I'm interrupting! I, I, I've always thought it was neat that um, Star Wars respected respected firearms as much as they did. Now, yes, the stormtroopers can't aim for crap. But if they could aim, you know, the story would be over in it. two seconds because they would have came aboard and just killed everybody. And, well, I guess they wouldn't wouldn't have necessarily had to kill Leia, but. 
they would have massacred the Ewoks in Episode 6. In Episode 5, they would have been able to take over the fort on Hoth with no problem whatsoever. The, uh, no ships would have been able to get through the blockade. They just can't aim. So there's that, but 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 every movie has that problem. I think that's one of the reasons why Star Wars does so well, is because it treats it treats econ blaster pistols or whatever. But I'm sorry, those are all real guns. In case you didn't know that, um, it treats them with so much respect. You know, Han Han Solo's pistols freaking iconic you know you don't get a lot of movies and shows and stuff with <laughs> with an iconic <laughs> make believe but still real pistol like how many can you think of I can't think of another sci-fi movie ever because the, the, the phasers I don't know if the Klingon disruptors were real or not real pistols, but, um, obviously, you know, the phasers, and I'm sure the phaser rifles and stuff weren't real I have started now. the later ones, but, and I you. you know, they, <laughs> Star Wars took a real gun, made it look like a fake gun, and made it popular, like, how, how, how many, how many franchises can say that they've ever done that. Like, none. None that I know of. And, and those are, I think, in my opinion, those are positive things for the culture. You have made you. Alright. Oh, it's that freaking douchebag. That's big talk from a terrified little gangster. The attacker. You eliminated my death squads. But my facilities create supreme soldiers with every passing minute. Yeah, all right. It will be my trophy before dawn. It looks bad, I know, but I. No more games. One way or another, this must end. That's Our right. guards captured a few of the gangsters. The exchange is based in the tunnel. Maybe now's the time to push. The DX Annihilator Network approved. Perhaps. I think I speak on behalf of the Shadow Syndicate when I ask. Suicide missions have always been my- You'll have to take out the members of Yukabi's inner system. Oh, no, no problem. Uh, trying to eat some of my raisin bread. Anyway, I'm sorry I talk about the second second amendment so, so much. It's super important to me. And I'll tell you why. Oh, gosh. I have to go all the way back there again. This is why Nar Shaddaa took me like two and a half hours just to do the story quests. I mean to tell me that you guys couldn't call me on the phone? Everybody else gets to be on hollow communicators. Except for me. Anyway. Um, somebody said uh, yesterday. Or, no, it was in the magazine I was reading. But he was like. "This." He goes, the second amendment's so interesting to me. Because the second amendment's the only amendment that can protect all the other amendments. And I thought that was... I thought that was really cool. And and I think somewhere else in the article he was also talking about how um, back in the 80s before some very very prolific horrible trage tragedies 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 that happened aka the crow and a couple others uh, there was no, like, firearms safety on set at all. They just handed them real guns and, uh, and said, okay, I'm here. um, no, tr no training, no anything. And they gave them ammo on set and told them what to do, and that was it. There was no training, no education, no nothing, and... If the actors went and got themselves trained, that was fine. But the movie companies were never going to train them. 
obviously that's all massively, massively, massively changed, but and unfortunately it took some horrible, horrible things to happen, losing some very good people. Yeah, I just read that and I was like, wow, I mean, I, I can't believe it. I mean, it's obvious that it's true, but it's just terrible. Just a complete old, uh, total disrespect for for uh, something so so dangerous if used by somebody that doesn't doesn't care or that just doesn't know. I mean, you think because you're an adult that like you're exempt from safety. I mean, safety is. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe to circle it all around, I'd say <laughs> Armitage doesn't want to be walking around shooting all these people. Armitage wants a non-lethal approach. He doesn't want to kill everybody. I'll, I'll kill the droids. But I'm a slicer. You know, I should be able to even disable the droids if I want to. I mean, these are bad people, but it's not my job. It's not my job to kill them all. I'm not... I'm not role-playing the Punisher. I really like the Punisher, but I'm not role-playing the Punisher. Like, that person, they're just... they're just scrubbing the floor. But I... but I just killed them. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I... I think I have a more... a more fun idea. And you're probably gonna laugh. No, it's fine if you laugh. But, but they could make a new character, and maybe his options would be like, you could, or maybe they just patch it in, where you can fill up a jail, and when you hit 50 and you're done with your class missions, you can see like how many people are in the jail. <laughs> You know, you're not killing people, you're... So what, what did we say? You're kind of, um... Just incapacitating them. Like, uh, stunning them. So, like, I could... I could knock this guy down. And cuff him, or something, if my strength was high enough. I could cuff him or something. And then call in... Well, I mean, the Empire. Empire doesn't really have prisons. He would go to a... Some kind of colony. <laughs> some kind of working colony or something. But, but in just like, just one of my characters alone, I could fill there? up a whole planet. Uh-oh. I'm here, go ahead. This is an emergency. The exchange is attacking. Yukabi is here. Someone sold us out. No, can't Lots of running around, huh? Anyway, I'm sure there's some magic order to do all this in, but I have no idea what it is. Um, I think I can pour it though. So tired of running back and forth. Yeah. Where am I? Right here. There we go. Um. And <laughs> I could fill up like a whole planet, but then you're like, oh, so slavery's okay? Well, <laughs> I mean, look how many people. And and these are just other shoot. Where is it? Just in just in other players, extremists or no, I'm sorry, Armitage has killed 4,300 people. Just in players, not to mention in PCs. Think about 4,000 people. I mean, that's the size of a 
That's enough to reproduce a whole frickin' planet full of people, I think. I think you only need like 1,600 if you're careful. Um, stupid huts are always getting captured. Hey, douchebag! What shall it be? Does one die? Do both? Don't, Don't kill the huts. It's not his fault. You horrible one! You are both wretched, and now you here to rescue the woman and the trick. Yeah, that's nice. I'm giving you one chance. Step away from those two now. No. Look upon my body. Cortosis skin grafts. Oh, no, Intravenous no. colto injection system. Holographic targeting array. You are only mortal. I will always prevail. Mm hmm. Have a good time. One more down. Oops. The fiction the is my goal, Master. Falling from your heart. I don't think he's getting <clears throat> up. Call to inject. Don't you dare. What else do you expect from a heart? Maybe, but you can't. Defy this woman, and you defy the greatest power in the galaxy. How dare you! Your wealth and power are worthless. I'd like him alive if you would. Oh, oh. Yes. Besides, Sucker I'd like to hold him as an example before the Shadow Syndicate. And you, oh I am deeply grateful for your aid. I know you must have other business on this world. The exchange had to be removed, but there are other enemies here. Thank you again for your assistance, and when Narshadar finally falls to the Empire, we'll remember the role you play. Okay. Hmm. Oh well. Look out the way. Whoops. Is there a vendor in here? Now I forgot what I was talking about. Be -de -be -de -be -de -do. Mm -hmm. I know. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut this and call this Narshada Planet Quests Part One or something. I don't know. I call it <laughs> Narshada Planet Vlog or something. I don't know. Um. Shoot. What was I talking about? Man. Oh, I, I would. I'd have a planet full of full of people, and people would be like, "Oh, so slavery's okay." Well, they they'd be alive. You know, I, they're they're bad people. They can't be walking around, I'm but here. they can live a productive life on a on a prison planet or something, mining minerals for me. And here's the thing, you can make it light side and dark side, and I'll tell you how. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Okay. If you, uh, if you imprison bad people, your light side goes up. If you imprison good people, your dark side goes up. And you'll get just like a trickle, trickle of resources or something. You and me, Agent. Big old prison planet. And then eventually, like, your prisoners will be more than everybody else's prisoners. And then you can <laughs> overthrow them and take over the prison planet. And start to manage it yourself. 
and have treat him, treat him better, and have rehabilitation. Make this planet or this universe rather a good a good universe instead. So just killing everybody. It's freaking stupid. They need to make an MMO where you don't have to kill pretty much everybody. I don't know why they can't do that and just make it a little mini game instead of killing them. You like let's see. You There's one around. Here, you know, if I'm gonna arrest this guy because he won't leave the shopkeeper alone, I kind of initiate a dialogue. Sir, you're under arrest. Come with me. Your charges are blah blah blah. If he resists, I just cuff him and arrest him. If he doesn't resist, I'll say, you know, put a little tag on him and a little black van comes and gets him. Whoosh. Takes him off to my planet, my little planet number increases. And I can slide the toggle around on how they're supposed to be treated and what kind of work they do, and I can make them do, you know, soft work or hard work. Maybe the. Please select an available travel route. Maybe the. 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 the, the batter. Safe and are, pleasant stay. Oops, that's not where I wanted to go. The more batter -er that they are, you know, the harder labor. And, um. Try to, you know, try to rehabilitate them. And then maybe I could have a good planet. And if they rehabilitate, they they go to the good planet. But uh, if they're, you know, they could come back and say how they've been doing against the board and try to plead their case or maybe why they're innocent or something. But if they hurt... You know, if they hurt a woman or a child or whatever, then then they do need to. That's a cool outfit. Ken Valley looking stupid and whatever. Um, if they hurt a woman or a child or whatever, then do you require medical after attention? after that's determined, then obviously something more strict needs to happen. Because I can't have people walking around that hurt women and children, obviously. I can't be tolerated. Be well. Or creatures smaller than themselves. I don't know. Be, it could be interesting. But I'd rather have something like that Please than just kill everybody. I, I don't like it. Armitage is not some wholesale mass murderer. It's just Unfortunately, that seems to be the only game mechanics that MMOs understand. Oh. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, I'll do that next time. I'm going to end this here, and I'm going to go do... Alderaan. So, thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed this, and didn't get a new, new jacket today, but I got a new visor, and it's pretty cool. Um, hope you don't mind my banter, I know there's a lot of, I know there's a lot of people that disagree with me, um, I try not to. I try not to talk about some of the other things, stuff that stuff that we'll never be able to agree on because it's way too infinitely complicated. Like pro pro life, pro choice, um, the death penalty. I mean, I kind of talked about the death penalty a little bit, but death penalty is almost as complicated as pro life, pro choice. I try not to talk about that. Um, I don't talk about. I don't talk about religion hardly at all, although it's hard not to, but I don't, I don't talk about that too much, um, unless I absolutely, like, unless I absolutely have to for some reason, um, so yeah, I hope, talk about a lot of politics though, and, and again, the reason why I talk about a lot of politics is because Star Wars is 
politics. Um, and the reason why I talk about guns a lot is because Star Wars is guns. I have a freaking huge sniper rifle. She's got a, a blaster pistol thingy. You know, everybody, look, guns, guns, guns. So, so yeah, um, talk about guns, talk about politics. I, I think I, and probably besides the fact that talking about religion can get you in a lot of deep, deep shit, um, Star Wars is not really that religious. Um, my dad tried to tell me that it, it was one time and that the Force is substituting creation and stuff. And in Clone Wars, it gets into that. And I'm just holding my face in my hands going, Really? There's like a light... A light side... Thing... And like a dark side thing, and that's and they live here, and and what they're they're what light side and dark I'm like what? But then Yoda goes to another place, and it's like what? So I don't. There, there's really no platform to to talk about religion. Um, and there's no real platform to talk about pro life, pro choice. Um, and, the, and the death penalty isn't even worth talking about <laughs> hardly for more than a second because the death penalty is every every two seconds you run into a mob <laughs> um, one thing and I'll, I'll eventually hit on this as soon as I'm leveling with a character with a droid which is probably going to happen here with Armitage is uh should should droids have basic human rights? Um, and I believe that they should do that. They that they should, and that in some cases they do. But uh, I know Star Trek, you know, with Data, they tackled, tried, tried to tackle that. Picard tried to tackle that over and over and over. And Patrick Stewart's way smarter than me. <laughs> He's way smarter than most of you too. So. Um, I'll, t I'll take a shot at it, but uh, in, a, in a later video when I get another droid companion, but um, that's probably really the only other thing I would say is even remotely controversial, so if you ever want to know why I don't talk about religion, pro-life, pro-choice, that's th that's why. There's just no platform to talk about it. And there's and, and there's no common ground whatsoever that's the other problem. And I, I do I talk about war a lot. But again, <laughs> I'll st star wars. Star wars. I talk about war a lot. War is right in the freaking name. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, so that's it. I'm going to wrap this one up. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.